In this video, we're going to start taking a look at solving what are called two-step equations. We're trying to find x, or get the x alone, when there's two things with it. A 4 is multiplied, and a 20 is subtracted. Let's look at this visually first. We represented x's with these little strips, so we've got four of them. And then we've also got 20 of these negatives, it says. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of these negatives. And that's going to be equal to or balancing with 8 negatives. 6, 7, 8. And we've got a couple choices on how we went about solving. One way we got a, we solved equations is we got rid of the negative circles with some positive circles. And the other way we got, we solved is we grouped the strips together so we could know what was in each group. The trick with groups is we don't know if this pile is going to group like we want it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this group completely first by introducing 20 positives. And we represented those with greens, and so I'll bring 20 positives in here like this. And so those positives and negatives all will come out to zeros. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 positives. Always doing the same thing on both sides. And you notice when we do that, several of the positives are gone now leaving just a handful of positives left. And now we would be ready to take a look at this problem by kind of a grouping method, and say, well, we've got one, two, three, four groups. And so we want to divide this into four groups as well, and we can do that with one, two, three, four groups of three, and so we find three positives as balancing with each of these x's. We can follow much the same pattern as we're solving these equations as we represented algebraically. To get the x alone, we'll first take care of the standalone 20 negatives with 20 positives on both sides. The 20 negatives and 20 positives come out to zero, leaving just the 4x on the left and 12 on the right. Now we can split those 4x's into 4 groups by dividing by 4 on both sides. And that's going to leave us with x all alone, like we want, equals 12 divided by 4, or 3. This is going to be the preferred method as we solve these two-step equations. We're going to add or subtract first, and then multiply or divide second. So when we look at this example, 5x plus 7 equals 7, we want to get the x alone. First, we get rid of the seven standalone units. Seven positives need seven negatives, and they'll subtract out to zero, leaving 5x, and 7 minus 7 is zero. Finally, to get the x alone, we divide the 5x's into five groups, and we get x is equal to zero. Similarly, with 4 minus 2x equals 10, Balancing through the equals, we first get rid of the standalone 4 units. Right now it's positive 4, so we need 4 negatives to subtract out. Gives us negative 2x equals 6. And then finally, to get the x alone, we have negative 2 times x, so we will divide both sides by the negative 2, so that they divide out, leaving just x equals negative 3. One more example like that. Here, we've got 8 positives with the x. So we'll get rid of those 8 standalone positives by subtracting 8 from both sides. Don't lose the sign here, that still is a negative x equals negative 6. We always assume there's a 1 in front of every number, so that's negative 1 times x. To get rid of that, we divide by negative 1, and x equals positive 6. We could check each of these answers by plugging in the number we found in for x. 4 times 3 is 12, minus 20 is negative 8, and you could do a similar check on all the other problems. These two-step equations all solve with the same pattern. Add or subtract the single unit first, and then divide out the coefficient on x.